it particularly hard to go back and watch the film from a game like that, or is it at that point just like it's all business? You you've taken the emotion out of it. I mean, it's necessary. It's not. It's not the fact that it's hard. It's just necessary to look at it. Um, you always want to look at how teams are trying to attack you or what they see. And so um, you got to learn from those plays because they can be used by other teams later in the season. And so it's just a matter of learning, looking and learning and uh, correcting everything and getting ready for the next one. You faced Mayfield a couple times over the years. Just how much of a challenge is he? Man, um, Baker is, he is a hell of a quarterback, man. But I just feel like he's just a, the ultimate competitor. Um, when you think about um, the quarterback position and how, how tough he is and how tough he is to bring down up in the pocket. Um, he's going to give his team the best chance to win the ball game. So um, I know that's going to be a hell of a challenge for us up front this week. Is he basically a no fear quarterback? That yeah, he's pretty much a. I feel like he's a. You want to say he's a running back with the ball, but it's it's a it's, it's a difference when you just have a mindset that you won't go down. Um, and so uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a great challenge, and it's going to be fun to play against. Him. Speaking of running backs, how much of a challenge are their backs, especially with how they can catch a ball out of the backfield? Yeah, uh, two, two, two pretty good young running backs. Um, another another duo that uh, is going to be a challenge. And so, um, yeah, man, just looking forward to, to, to the challenge and playing against those guys. A lot about just not letting one turn into two. Yeah. Does that kind of heighten now, like, you know, there's only four games left and just yeah. trying to close out strong? I mean, it's always a heightened um, time of the year. Uh, November and December is like the football you remember. And so um, that's kind of what I preach to the guys. And, and, and you got to take your level um, up, especially in this fourth quarter of the season. And um, it's going to be it's gonna be a hell of a challenge. I know they're going to come with their best, and, and we got to come with our best as well. How much of a challenge is two games in five days late in the season, especially when at the beginning of the year it wasn't set up that way? I feel like uh, you could talk about it being tough after you plan playing both of those games. Like a delusional mindset, um, just based on body, body, and how you feeling. Um, you gotta talk yourself into feeling great um, going into those games and that five-game stretch. And so, um, it's ultimately about playing balls to the wall for two games, whether it's five games away or three games in two days. It don't matter. Um, you just gotta have to have your mind fixed on, on winning. Good to eventually get a mini buy late in the year. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's always good to have time to rest, but um, you got to beat your body up a little bit um, to, to, to and, and, and get a win to, to really enjoy it. At this point in your career, like how much of getting ready each week is like yeah. delusional mindset, talking yourself into feeling great? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm like a young spring chicken right now. <laughs> I mean, the groin set me back a little bit, but I feel great um, just getting that rest day on Wednesdays. It's always good. and. Coming out Thursday, I'm flying around again. Yeah. So, do you feel like 100% now after the grind? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm close. I, I don't know. I don't like to give myself 100% because I'm still working. Yeah. I'm still working on that. I ain't like I just can get up and not work on what it is I got to work on with those groins. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm close. I'm close. Yeah. I know you guys do wise words, and that's something that Coach Harbaugh has been doing every yeah. day. Like, what, yeah. what have you taken from some of those? Uh, Moments getting to Man, listen to your teammates uh, and your coaches. Yeah, he just got me uh, not too long ago, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just it's one of the things you kind of always consistently got to have something in the back of your mind that you want to bring forth to the group. And um, ultimately, I feel like you have to be a you got to be act, you got to bring action to those words that you speak. And so um, I feel like that's been one of the key factors of like just whenever you say something. People gonna hold you accountable to those words, and so I want them to hold me accountable, and and I want to have actions behind my words. What did you say when he when he called us? I I, I blanked out. <laughs> I don't even remember. I know it was along along the lines of just making the most of every opportunity, and um, yeah, just knowing that the group of guys you have in this circle right now is gonna change. So while we all here, let's let's make the most of it. Are, are those like? Is that stressful for you? The possibility that you might get called up, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. And I think that's the that's the unique part about it because you never know when it's gonna happen. You know, some coaches might get your heads up, but 
it's, it's truly off guard and you gotta be like, damn, okay. And stand up in front of everybody and speak. And so it's, it's a unique experience, but uh, it's one that is probably something I'll take with, with me as I go along further in life. Is it one of those that if you haven't been called on in a while, you get that feeling like yeah, it's, coming. It's, it's coming. It's coming, yeah. And I've been feeling like that for a couple weeks, but the day was the day. Yeah. Who do you think is the best wise words guy? Or your favorite guy to um, talk, listen to? Man, um, it's a few dudes that, that give some pretty great wise words. Damn. Who was the best? I think Dayon. I think Dayon, um, he's, been a, he's been a pretty... He been pretty high on my list of guys. Cause he always say something that it kind of hits home. And so, yeah, he, he high on that list for me. I don't know if everybody else listen to him the same way I do, but he high on that list for me. Speaking about spring chickens, yeah. how much of those NIR days on Wednesdays the past yeah. two, three years, how much has that prolonged? Man, man, what adding, life, man, adding life to my, adding life to, what, what, you ever play uh, Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. <laughs> like adding the heart, it just it just keeps stacking up and adding life to my, my, my body. And so um, it's always great when you can get that rest day and then come out and do your thing on Thursday. Was that something you had to talk to Jim during the off season? Like, hey, uh, under I the previous regime? We adopted, had yeah, previous regime. It was kind of one of the things. Marco, kind of we talked about it. Like, hey, Marco, this this is working. <laughs> let's, let's, stick, let's stick with it. And uh, yeah, it wasn't no. It wasn't no tussle. It's just okay. Bet that's what he needs. Let's do it. Right. Yeah. And probably talking to Ben and having Ben stare through you, but it's like yeah, 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 yeah. Works. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's my guy too. It's always fun working with him as well, man. We go in there, work hard, and, and have fun doing it. You mentioned the running backs. Um, they kind of provide something different. They can do everything, but they kind of provide something different. How much do you have to be aware of? You know. When someone's on the field, just making um, sure that they, they're home run hitters, on um, man, they can they can take the ball a distance at any moment. So we got to know where they at from a catch, check check downs, and in the run game also, and uh, knowing when Mike Evans, at, knowing when all the guys that that can make plays, they got a lot of playmakers over there. Do you guys do wise words every day? Um, yeah. Like, what what's that been like for you listening to some of your teammates talk, coaches talk after practice, and yeah. like, uh, yeah. what's it like being called on for wise words? Uh. Oh, it feels good. Like, this is my first time being around with Coach, like, a great leader, like Coach Harbaugh, calls on players just randomly throughout the, the day, each day, and, like, you just basically, and um, giving what you feel from the heart. And um, at first when I did it, I, I didn't know it, how to do it, but it kind of kind of figured out. And uh, it's been a lot of fun, though. What's kind of been the biggest message you've taken from some of your teammates? Uh, everybody's saying the same thing in a different way, in their own way, I feel like, you know, man, that's basically... Let's capitalize on the opportunity we have with the guys in this locker room and uh, just keep doing it. Were you nervous when you first called them? Yeah, I was kind of, I was not nervous, but I was like, oh man, I was like, I did not expect that. At first, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, like, you know what I mean? But, you know, I got used to it. How do you feel like that's like kind of united the locker room? You guys talk a lot about how this yeah. team is so close. Um, I, I feel like it gets guys out of their shell because you hear from guys that you never hear talk or you hear like, oh man, he said that, he was feeling like that. So I'm like, Okay, man, just to hear that from him, it, it made me like, okay, let's go. Is there anyone in particular in your mind that like All the guys, up? Man, all the guys, even J.K. Scott, anybody that's talking on our team, I mean, anybody that's talking, I feel like that I don't usually hear that's not doing all the talking, I feel like it's, it's good to hear from him. When you haven't been called on in a while, do you start getting nervous? Like, yeah, it's gonna call be- me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. definitely, definitely. Like, the day I, I just knew he was gonna call me today, but he called Khalil today, so I, I was good. So, yeah, I, for sure. If you ain't winning in a while, you definitely go to Phil. Like, oh, yeah, he's going to call on me next. <laughs> do, you, do you have one guy who, who, like, you you think is the best wise words guy? Uh, the best? Wow. Huh? Everybody's good in their own way. I feel like once you kind of say the, the main point you want to get across, everybody kind of good in their own way, though. Joey, after uh, Sunday, any doubt that this – Team could bounce back and, and uh, you know, put that yeah. in the rearview mirror real fast. No, I don't, I'm definitely no doubt. Um, it was obviously a huge game. Every game, like I've been saying, is huge this time of year. Um, but it's the only option we have is to put it behind us, learn what we can, and you know, get stronger from it. I think every loss we've had, we've we've done that, and um, 
yeah, I don't think this is a team to, to curl up and quit. Um, take what we can from the loss. I mean, it was a close game. We did a lot, a lot of things good. We did a lot of things not so good. So we, we just have to learn from it and move on. What do you suppose is like the number one lesson? Um, man, we just have to finish the games. We got uh, against a team like that. You can't make mistakes when when the game's on the line. And I think we definitely did some of that. Um, we get, we put up a good fight. Obviously, it came down to the very last play. But um, if we want to beat the teams like Kansas City and, and all the best teams in the league, we've got to make sure we. Um, really execute the details when it comes down to, to crunch time. It's been a while since you've kind of had, you know, four games or five games or whatever, and it's all kind of up to you to, to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking back to the 18, was it? Yeah. yeah. So what's that, yeah. what's that kind of like? Yeah, I mean, fate's in our hands. Um, it's a good place to be this time of year. And I don't think we, you know, we don't want it any other way. We uh, have big game coming up, obviously, this week against a really good team. And just have to win. We have to, uh, like I said, put it behind us and learn what we can and, and try to improve um, like we have. Whether we won or we lost, we'd, we'd have, you know, the same goal. And that's to just continue to learn and improve. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's in the past and we just, we just have to move on. Turn the page and still have a playoff berth very much at stake and to go ahead for? Um, the message, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's changed. Um, like you were just saying, uh, it's our fate is in our hands, so we just have to continue to improve, learn what we can, and uh, go out there and execute. And, and, and when the fourth quarter comes around, make sure that we're all executing our jobs at a high level. Um, not that, not that. But you're not gonna like this stat, but uh, 11 straight ga 11 straight games you guys have lost where it's been decided by fewer than three points. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I know I've, I feel like I've asked you this question before, but like, what do you think you guys as a team need to do, or like, how do you turn the page and turn the corner on those type of games? Yeah, um, I mean it's been a similar story for a while here. Um, we we've lost a lot of close games, but. Just the same thing that I was saying is executing in, the, in those moments at the end of the game, uh, whether it's a stupid penalty or you know not doing your job. It's uh, the details matter when you're playing against really good teams, and um, yeah, we just have to learn, like I've been saying, and and really try to execute and not let the moment uh, get the better of us. Baker Mayfield, what makes him challenging to go against? Yeah. He's a really good player, um, really good on his feet, hard to bring down. He's strong. He's got a strong arm. Um, he, he knows how to, uh, you know, manipulate himself in the pocket and, and get out of trouble and, and make the throws under pressure. So uh, we've dealt with a lot of that this year, whether it was Joe or, or uh, last week and Lamar and all these guys are not only good passers, but can, can make it happen on the feet. So um, I think just continuing to improve as a front, uh, playing together, rushing together, four is one is important, obviously, every week. But um, yeah, I think I think that's the main thing. The way their running backs also catch the ball out of the backfield, just what kind of challenge do, does their running game present and also, um, like, yeah, they have two really good backs. Um, they like to cut back, and, and they can make a lot happen uh, after contact. So continuing to get better at tackling and uh, obviously helping in, in coverage when we can as an edge group. Um, but, yeah, I think it always starts by stopping the run, and, and that's, I think, our goal as a defense is to be able to make, a, make an offense one-dimensional. I think Jim was saying... Earlier this week, he thinks this team has maybe like the most fortitude a team he's ever been around has had. Like, at what point in the season did you kind of see that fortitude like yeah. show up maybe first? Um, I think, yeah, just dealing with losses. Obviously, we had two losses in a row early on, and we came back after a bye week and, and went on a good little streak. And 
you know, losing to the Ravens and being able to come back and respond the right way. And, and now we'll, we'll see what we can do this week after a really tough loss. So I think, um, yeah, just trusting in, in the team and the process and the coaches and everything and not getting too high or too low, whether you, whether you win or lose. I mean, one tiny thing could have changed this last week and we could have won, but I think, um, that doesn't change your mindset coming in and having to learn from your wins and learn from your losses and, and trying to improve every week. The way you guys have handled some of the losses previously, how much confidence does that give you as you move through the season? To Because I know you've said recently, like, this team feels different. The way you guys handle those losses, how much more confidence does it give you to be like, yes, it is different? Like, yeah. No, um... I mean, I don't even think, I'm not thinking about the past, I'm not thinking about how things were uh, at a different time. I feel confident in this team, whether we win or lose. Um, I have faith that we're, we're going to come back and come to work and, and try to improve each week. So, um, yeah, uh, like I said, don't get too high or too low on, on a win and a loss. It's easy to, uh, when you're winning, just get complacent and kind of cruise through the weeks. But... <laughs> I think, uh, you know, the, the hard times is what really brings the team close together and, and really shows who you are as a team and uh, gives you a chance to, to learn and, and improve maybe even more than when you're winning. you played with Justin for a few years now. Can you imagine what it might take to have him miss a game? Yeah. <laughs> have you thought I mean, about looking that? at his big fat ankle, I think he's... Uh, He's obviously, like Coach Harbaugh says, one of the, I mean, on his list, he's the toughest quarterback to ever play the game. So uh, you could, I think you could definitely make an argument there. But it just, you feel like you always have a shot when he's out there uh, with the ball in his hand. So just hoping he feels he feels good. He, he had a good week of practice and all that. I mean, I'm obviously not speaking on his uh, health and all that this week, but. Um, yeah, like I said, you, you have the most, uh, utmost confidence when he's, when he's handling the offense.